for Louisville to not make the NCAA tournament last year, it was for sure not what I expected, and I know it wasn't what anybody else expected. From now on, the energy that we're going to be bringing is going to be different. I think the vibe's been great. You know, there's been a lot of energy in the building. You know, guys are working really hard. There's a pop to our workouts. I think the fans should be excited about our determination. Everybody is determined to win. Louisville winning program, massive history, massive tradition. It's championship expectations. I think the most fun I've ever had coaching is when I'm in pressure-filled environments, and you can't find a more pressure-filled environment than here at the University of Louisville. Win big, man. At the end of the day, that's I'm not going to sugarcoat it. Coach Mack has made that very clear that his goal is to win a national title as well, and I'm on the same page as him. We just want to get to the tournament and we see beyond that, you know, win a national championship. we got a group of workers. we got a group of workers. we got a group of competitors. These guys compete on the floor every single day. Anytime this becomes something where there's a winner and a loser, they get after it. You know, I'm excited for the ups and downs of, of any offseason and, and any season, and I think we got the guys to uh, make a deep run. Everybody has the same goal. We're all on the same same accord, and we're just determined, man. Hungry and determined. We're coming with different energy. The pieces are in place, and now it's time to roll. I think that the first goal that we've had is just improve our players, you know, get them better individually. The second goal is to learn our offense. We're gonna play a lot faster style of pace. We're gonna play with a lot of spacing. I'm all in with the players. I, I really believe in those guys as individuals. I have to step towards them wherever they're at at their point in their careers. You got to work individually with each player to their best way to learn and their best direction to grow. I'll say it's a very fast pace, free flowing. It gives a lot of room for you to work one-on-one, -on -one, get, to, get to your spots, get to the basket. I feel like any player would love to be in that system. Ross was an outside-the-box type hire, a guy that's worked with hundreds of NBA players. It's been great to have a coach that has experience in that field, working out with pros, working out with guys going through the pre-draft process. It's been great to have him here. That's where our guys have a desire to go and to get to. And so we want to try to marry what we do and what we've done here at Louisville, both in the NBA and then overseas. Everything that he's bringing is new to everybody, so I feel like on the players to the coaches, we're just trying to be a sponge to everything he's saying and embrace it. My leadership style, I would see as one where I believe in positive affirmation. I believe in catching what you want from them and making sure to celebrate that. <laughs> yeah, good angle. Good. good. <laughs> That looks like a real jump hook, dude. That was nice. Hey, this is what we do. They're giving us a lot of freedom to make plays and create. And uh, I can't ask for much more than that. And I think, I think we're going to be very successful, and it's going to help us down the road for sure. The intensity has been great at practice. We've only had two so far, but they've just been so fun. We've been doing a lot of getting up and down. The guys are just enjoying just being in the gym, uh, competing with each other and also competing against each other. Just competing against each other, you know, it gets a little bit chippy out there sometimes, but, and you know, a little, we can talk a little bit and chirp. Just like we all need our daily vitamins to be able to grow and thrive in life, all these players need their daily vitamins to be able to, to be able to grow and thrive as a basketball player. Daily vitamin is pretty much just the daily work that you put in. We split it up in three categories, finishing, shooting, and ball handling. Those guys all have, quote unquote, individual vitamins that they need to be getting. That's things that daily they need to be cycling through. We're building a style of play right now. And so from the individual skill set to be able to play in that style of play, and then also the understanding of the overall system that they're going to play in with nine other people on the floor, starting to build those, put those building blocks in one day at a time. As time goes, we'll get better and better. And by the season, we should be one of the best offices in the ACC and in the country. No denying it's been a lot of changes. Uh, players, coaching staff, uh, and, you know, every, everything in between. You know, I love all the new guys coming in. We're already uh, bonding well and gelling well. Getting to know everybody on the team is pretty funny. It's fun, but we all clicked in. And it's actually crazy how we all have like such chemistry and we just met each other. It's been great, man. I feel like I'm around a lot of good people. The guys have been great. 
we've been working out pretty much every single day and uh, being in the gym with each other, going out, hanging out with each other and things like that. It's been, it's been real good, man. I like my team. Teammates are great, so you know, I'm enjoying it so far. These past two weeks been great with my teammates. It's like we've known each other for years, you know what I'm saying? As soon as we touched on campus, all the other guys, they interacted with us and we just bonded in jail. Off the court, we enjoy each other's company, uh, crack jokes, mess around a little bit, and uh, it just almost seemed kind of natural. We walk into that gym and there's already this good vibe. It's not a dead energy. These guys are self-starters. I think our bond will only get greater as, as the season goes on. Having six newcomers isn't always an easy thing, but it's been really, really smooth, honestly. We get along well, and on the court, that helps us out a ton. My name is Roosevelt Wheeler, and I play the big on the team, you know, big five. So uh, I chose Louisville because, one, they treated me like a family off the gate, uh, just like a big family, and I love that the fact that, like, the scenery of Louisville is kind of like Richmond, Virginia, where I came from. Interest I have outside of basketball is one, I love shoes. So I'm always like at least a little bit of shoe shopping every time I go out. Another play the game, you know, I play Rocket League all the time, play Call of Duty with my friends all the time. Other than that, just take pictures and have fun with my friends. Seeing Rose when he was a junior, there was an excitement about his motor, you know, how hard he played, you know, was very gifted at going after the ball. I'm a defensive player, so like anything defense I could do. You know, I love blocking shots. I've got to spend a lot of time with Rose so far. When he's in the room, you know, you're gonna know, man. He kind of brightens up the room a little bit. I think that's gonna be really good for our locker room, as far as like our vibe and our atmosphere in the locker room. You know, we're still, you know, handcuffing him when it comes to going five on five. You know, he's obviously had the Achilles injury. Don't feel like he's physically ready. Oh, it's pretty hard, but I dealt with it my whole high school senior season. Nah, it's really, it's really kind of, it's tough, but I got the heart of a line, I can make it through. There's a welcome to college moment when you step on the floor as a freshman in workouts and in the weight room. The good thing is he's got a great attitude about it. He's been working though, he's been in the weight room still doing everything that he can. He's been on the court during the workouts. I'm excited for him to get back to 100% and get back in the flow. Coach Mac, he, he is a great guy, he is a great coach, he is a funny coach. I'm thankful for the opportunity to even be able to come here and talk to him because a lot of kids around this around this place, like around the world, want to you know be a part of Louisville basketball. So I'm just thankful for the opportunity.